Hey, what's up guys? We're talking about my duty belt, how I set it up and why I set it up. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay guys, so this is my duty belt system. And I say system because it's more than just a duty belt. And a lot of you guys already know this, but I kind of wanted to, to exemplify the basics of a duty belt and how it's ran. Um, because these are things that I didn't know before I got into law enforcement. I kind of had to figure them out on the, on the fly or um, essentially as I went. But the way a duty belt is set up is you have an inner belt, which would go inside of your belt loops, and then you have an outer belt. And these together are a system because it's Velcro on the outside of the inner belt, and it's Velcro on the inside of the duty belt. So those are gonna grab each other. Uh, for me, it just serves a function of, it stays there enough for me to put do, uh, belt keepers on, and that's what you'll see here. Uh, these snap, buckles uh, that are fabric, some are leather, um, some are prettier, some are uglier, but they serve a purpose just to hold the two belts together and to hold your belt in place. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. So inner belt goes on for me. Um, and then I'm gonna take, you see it doubles over right here. It is uh, Velcro here, so it Velcros to itself. Not something that most people would think of a belt, but it does serve serve me well. And this is kind of the standard. I'm gonna put my K-bar in here on my inner belt, just because it's the correct size for the clip. And um, I'm gonna put this duty belt one over top of this. But before I show you guys exactly how I run my duty belt, I just kind of wanted to go over some uh, components of the duty belt itself. So first and foremost, you have a you have two buckles. Uh, these are this is a security buckle. You have to actually press a button to open it up when it does close, which are super awesome. Um, and then I've got OC spray, a double handcuff pouch, my weapon, ass baton, glove pouch. This actually is a strap for my radio. Um, my med pouch, magazines. And I have my CEW, which, or a lot of you guys would call a taser. Um, so I also have my car keys, <laughs> all right? Keys for a uh, handcuff key as well, but just the very bare minimum, the basics of what I need. I do not carry a flashlight on my belt because I don't have any room. And there's not enough real estate on my 30 inch waist to carry every piece of gear that I need. So I do have to resort to pockets. And that's what I do here. If you've seen my flashlight video, I keep my flashlight in my front pocket because it is very accessible and it does not have to sit on my duty belt somewhere else. So we talk about belt keepers. Uh, essentially, you just want enough to keep your belt in place and um, keep your belt tight together. So you're going to want one in front and one behind your duty weapon so that that's as secure as it can be. And then you would put the rest spread out throughout your belt. So these are great um, and I would implore you to use them. It doesn't matter what material it is. I guess it's usually up to your agency policy, but if you can get away with it, I would suggest wearing suspenders. And I know a lot of you are gonna laugh because that sounds like an old man thing, but these are the cheapest pair of Amazon suspenders I could find. And they have held up very well for me in the last three years. They're very thin, they do not, uh, impede my comfort. I just toss these guys on. They have belt keepers on them already and I buckle them in here. Okay. And this does give me enough. Uh, it, it gives me enough relief from my actual waist on my shoulders that when I don't wear suspenders, I have like a really bad day. So I've grown um, very fond of the suspenders. If you can do that, that's awesome. Luckily, my agency let, allows us to wear an outer vest. It's not a load bearing vest, but it is an outer vest. So the suspenders are hidden from plain view and I don't look like a dweeb. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. If you're gonna run with just belt keepers because you have to tuck your entire shirt in, then I'm sorry, man, but do what you gotta do. Uh, talk to your agency about getting load bearing vest or something. All right, so I've got my duty belt on, my suspenders on, my belt keepers, everything is intact. And I want to talk about why my duty belt looks the way that it does and why I set it up this way. Uh, if I didn't say it before about the duty belts, 
Guys, they attach the inner belt and outer belt together. Okay, and that's it. Uh, so let's start with why my duty belt orientation is the way that it is. So first and foremost, I want the least amount of gear on the back side of my duty belt where I'll be sitting down as possible. So if I had it my way, I would be keeping my radio on a load bearing vest or somewhere else, but I can't. So that's, that's kind of, is, it is what it is. Uh, but as far as the glove pouch, there's the smallest item on my belt that's going to be on the small of my back. It just carries a single pair of gloves in there. And uh, my asp is the only other thing on the other side of this belt that is crossing that 3 o'clock line. Uh, on the 3 o'clock on my left-hand side, or my non-dominant side, I have magazines, which I can reach uh, and grab with my dominant hand. Strong side, 3 o'clock, I have my weapon, my service weapon. Uh, up front, I have handcuffs. I like to run handcuffs up front because I don't want to reach behind me when I am uh, in an altercation with someone. I, I don't want to remove that arm that far away from that altercation. Uh, you're going to have your taser. Primarily, most agencies uh, have this policy, but you're going to have your taser on your non-dominant or your support side uh, because we don't want to shoot people even though we're saying taser, taser, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then um, check that out. Uh, but I like to I like to have it in a cross draw position. It's just, to me, the easiest way to deploy the taser. Um, and then I have pepper spray up front and a K-bar up front as well. You, you guys saw that. My keys are right here. Um, but that's just pretty much it. Uh, we'll talk about the radio real fast. So... If the radio were in a load-bearing vest area, like up front, I could see my screen while changing my channels and my volume and so on and so forth. But I can't, so behind me, it's the only place I really got. It seems like every time I sit down, uh, I'm turning the volume up and down and the, cha the channel's switching, so dispatch might think I'm not even answering my radio because I'm asleep, but that's not the case. It's because I sat on some, I've sat in my chair or something and um, it's changed the channel. So that just goes to show why uh, low bear vests and stuff are so much better for police. But uh, the reason I can run it behind me is because I have a hand mic and the hand mic actually has volume control and stuff. So I guess I digress a little bit on that one. I do want to talk about my idea of the pepper spray being up front. Um, so this is just a thought of mine uh, and this is the way I kind of work, but People get really nervous when you reach for things, even though they're being the aggressors. When they see you reach behind you for something, they will either get out of town or get in your face uh, and become more aggressive. So a lot of the times if I'm on scene and it's, I'm kind of getting sketched out and I think I'm going to have to use some type of force other than just hands on. Uh, I've already done it, but I might just pop my pepper spray. That way I'm not reaching for anything. I'm just kind of, my hands are where they are and it's very easily uh, deployed and it doesn't look like I'm making any large movements to get that. So that's just a thought uh, that comes across to my mind. And I don't have a flashlight on my belt and I think I spoke on that. I do keep it in my pocket because it's just so much easier and I don't have a whole lot of real estate on the belt. Uh, so this attaches to a lapel up front. I wear an outer vest and that's how I run my duty belt. Um, if you guys got any questions or you do it differently or you have any comments or anything like that, just drop a comment and ask me or tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> uh, but this is just the, my method of doing it. And, um, maybe you learned something from this. Hope you did. All right. Thanks for watching guys.